Okay, now we are going to talk about working with related records. So this would be pretty straightforward. Let's copy the example here and explain what is going on. I just copied that. I'm going to flip to my developer console and paste this and take out the comments so it's nice and clean. All right, let's do that. Okay, so first we instantiate the account object and put it in an account variable there. So new account name is SFDC account and then insert the account. So the account is inserted at this point, right? A DML transaction happened. We have an ID of the account. So this is the ID type ID and then the name is account ID, the variable and then equals account dot ID. This account ACCT dot ID. We have the ID because the account was just inserted. Okay, so we keep this ACCT, ACCT ID variable and then we're going to relate it here, the account ID. Okay, so next we are going to create a contact. The contact is Mario, a new contact. First name Mario, last name Ruiz and the phone number is this. And then I want to link the contact to this account account ID. So how do you know which field to use? Right? Good question. So if I go back to my org, let me pop up my hands on org over here. I'm just going to scroll up and hands on org. I should have just used the pop up there. There. This one. I'm going to show you on the setup here and then object manager and an account not account my bad contact right contact is Mario right so the on the contact object we have the account ID here which is a lookup right so the data type is the lookup to an account and the field name is account ID. This is where we actually know this. So account ID link it to this account which was just created and then insert Mario. Insert the contact. Okay. Let's execute just that and see what happens. Let's execute it. Now if I go back to here and I go to my contacts we should have Mario Ruiz here. SFDC account is the account name. So it's linked, right? If I go to details, see the account is linked by the ID of the account, which is, oops, let me close this. Control E, which is here. This is the account ID, which we get when we just inserted the account. All right, put the account ID there in this variable which is the type of ID and then the account ID for this contact is this one okay so we can also do if I take this out for example if I take that out and I want to change Mario to update to another account for example let's go back um, here accounts let's link mario to bada bing bada boom so i'm just going to grab the account id from the top here right this is the record id of the account for bada bing bada boom so i'm going to copy this copy that go back to my developer console and i'm simply going to hard link it Okay, account ID for Mario is now with quotes, boom. So if I update Mario, okay, I'm going to execute this. Update, oopsie. Missing ID not specified in an update call. Oh, we were, 
we were going to new here, right? So insert because it's a new. It's not a. It's not a, a soccer. My bad. Mario Bros. Not Mario Ruiz. Okay. Mario Bros. Will be linked to Bada Bing. Bada Boom. Okay. Execute. Now if I go back here, we would have Mario Bros. Here and its account is Bada Bing. Bada Boom. Okay. So that's how you can do that as well. And let's go back to our trailhead. Um, what else here? We have updating related records. Well, which we just did actually. But let's do it from the example here. Okay. Copy that. And then Control E. And then I'm going to paste everything here. And I'm going to delete the comments. So it's not so crowded, right? Okay. So we have contact. Contact is the S object type. Query contact is the variable name. And then do a circle here. Do a circle. Select account.name from contact object where first name equals Mario. And last name equals with limit just one record. Okay. And then we actually update the query contact, the phone field to this number. Okay. And then uh, update the query contact account industry to technology. All right. So this part is going to update the contact. And then this part is going to update the account query contact dot account okay so if i go flip back here and go to mario ruiz the, the account type here if i go to details is not technology the account type is pretty much blank where is the account type again well here the type is blank here okay the type is blank. Let me cancel that. So after I execute this, the account type should be on a type industry. The industry will be technology and the phone number for the contact will be this number. So I'm going to execute that. Done. Flip back to our record here. So the industry, what is industry? Or here, industry is not going to be blank anymore. So I'm going to refresh this. The industry should be technology. Okay, if I go to details, there. Industry is technology. And the contact for Mario Ruiz is now going to have the new phone number 1213. Right? So if I close this, control E. So 1213. So there you have it. So contact. The variable name is query contact and then select with the circle and then query contact which is this part here dot phone update the phone to this and then we want to update the account object of the contact query contact dot account dot industry then technology so this is not yet executed but once you do the, a dml update query contact update query contact dot account both is the, is is then going to be updated all right so that's pretty much it i think we have come to the end of this long trail a long section here we've uh, divided into several videos and the delete part is pretty much the same so account query accounts which one you want to delete right which one you want to delete and then delete Query accounts, pretty much the same thing. Okay, so we don't have to do that. So, okay, that's pretty much it. And I am going to do the hands on challenge together on the next video. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, 
and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.